Turkey is set to open one of its biggest ever construction projects, the Star Oil Refinery in Izmir. It cost more than $6 billion and was built by the state oil company of Azerbaijan. The facility will import crude oil primarily from Russia and Azerbaijan with the capacity to process 10 million tons per year. Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan will open the refinery with his Azerbaijani counterpart later today. Hikmet Hajiev is the deputy head of Azerbaijan's Foreign Policy Affairs Department. He joins me now from Baku. So talk to us about why a refinery in Turkey. What's the importance of Turkey's geopolitical location as it affects Azerbaijan's energy security policies? Uh, thank you. Good afternoon. Uh, yeah, this project was uh, the foundation of this project was laid back in 2011 by presidents of Azerbaijan and Turkey, uh, His Excellency Ilham Aliyev and Recep Tayyip Erdogan, and uh, it once again shows the confidence of Azerbaijan to Turkish economy, and it also demonstrates a strategic partnership uh, of two countries. And this project uh, provides a bright future for both uh, for both of these countries, and it's also strategically uh, important for further uh, development of energy cooperation between uh, two countries. It's a simple women's situation, and it's an important uh, regional uh, energy security cooperation project. And you are rightly mentioned that this project has a capacity of uh, processing annually 10 uh, million tons uh, of uh, oil, and it will tremendously contribute uh, to the energy security of Turkey and will decrease uh, Turkey's uh, dependence on uh, imports. And in the meantime, will uh, provide additional and extra capacities of these two countries and export refined oil products to wider Mediterranean region and some other countries. Mm -hmm. Does SOCAR have any acquisition plans in the region or does Azerbaijan have any projects uh, in the pipeline, so to speak? Uh, in general, uh, you know, Azerbaijan's and Turkish energy cooperation started with the Baku Tbilisi uh, Jehan uh, pipeline project uh, in the mid 90s. And finally, as a result of this project, Azerbaijan crude oil has been provided to the Turkish market, and we as a Turkey, it has been provided to the uh, international market. Simply, Azerbaijan raw materials and Azerbaijan oil has been provided to the Turkish market and via that to the other international markets. But now we have a new phase in the energy strategy of Azerbaijan together with the Brazil and Turkey, we are implementing. It at, we implemented it at a practical level, in a sense that uh, Azerbaijan exports its raw material, but uh, with the refining capacity and also developing petrochemical industry in Azerbaijan and in the Brazil of Turkey, we are looking forward to add added value in the uh, raw material, uh, that's an oil, poorer oil, and to export it to uh, other countries. And uh, this project is not just only about the refinery, and it's a huge project in a sense that it makes uh, this geography of Turkey to become logistical hub in terms of refinery, distribution, logistics, and in general, it provides to become it a petrochemical industry and, of course, contributing to the Turkish economy and Azerbaijan and Sokar Turkey is a leading uh, company. And it's a 20 billion worth project and it creates more than 30,000 jobs, jobs in Turkey and it will continue to grow. And it will, find, of course, in a serve for the benefit of two countries. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of people think of Russia and Saudi Arabia as providers of energy, um, but the landmark Caspian Sea deal signed in August by was signed in August by the five countries bordering the Caspian. Talk to us about what this deal means for the future of Azerbaijan as an energy player. Yeah, uh, simply it's in a business project. It's an economic project, and you see that Azerbaijan is an exporter of investment. Uh, Azerbaijan uh, supports in a regional cooperation, and uh, with uh, Azerbaijan also together with the Brazil, Turkey, and some other friendly countries and partners, and establishing a new paradigm of regional cooperation. That's not beneficial for everyone. It also shows that Azerbaijan, by such projects, along with the uh, Brazil and neighboring and friendly countries, also expands uh, the geography and territory of peace, cooperation, and partnership. And you are also also rightly mentioned uh, among uh, which one of yet another project it's a ton up and top project that takes Azerbaijan gas and brings to uh, Anatolia and then via Turkey and goes to the Europe it will tremendously uh, play an important uh, role uh, in Europeans uh, energy market and especially providing the gas uh, to European market uh, with the completion of the top section of the ton up and top uh, project and uh, Azerbaijan uh, simply supports uh, such kind of goodwill in cooperation and Azerbaijan also has a close cooperation with all Caspian 
literal countries. And recently, uh, you also referred that Azerbaijan, along with the literal countries, uh, contributed to finalization of the legal status of the Caspian Sea. That uh, this convention has been signed. It also yet uh, another dimension that provides a predictability and more opportunities for cooperation in the region. And Azerbaijan also uses uh, or, or existing opportunities for delivering its uh, natural carbohydrate resources to the international market as a reliable partner, as a potential investor, and also, of course, and contributes to the energy security of the friendly countries, of the wider European countries. But in general, Azerbaijan is guided by the principle of economic cooperation and goodwill in cooperation. All right, Hikmet Hajiyev, Deputy Head of Azerbaijan's Foreign Policy Affairs Department, thank you for joining us today from Baku.